Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, September 3rd. President Obama won some important support from Congress as he considers a strike against Syria. After a meeting with the President, Republican House Speaker John Boehner said he supports Obama and he urged his fellow GOP members to do likewise. Another key House Republican, Majority Leader Eric Cantor, also supported the use of force against Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad's use of chemical weapons against his citizens. Boehner said the use of chemical weapons has to be responded to and only the United States has the ability to stop Assad. Others, including former Republican vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan, are either not supporting a U.S. move or holding back for more information. Votes in the House and Senate are expected next week. Obama also sent two of his top cabinet members to Capitol Hill to push the case for a Syrian strike. Secretary of State John Kerry and Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel testified at closed hearings of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. They're expected to be accompanied by Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Martin Dempsey. Meanwhile, Republican Arizona Senator John McCain said rejecting a serious strike could have a catastrophic effect on the president and on the U.S. credibility. For his part, Bashar al-Assad warned that the Middle East is a powder keg. He told French interviewers that a U.S. strike could touch off a regional state of war. The involvement of Congress comes as the United Nations reports that an estimated 2 million Syrian residents have fled the country. The head of the U.N. Refugee Agency said Syria has become the great tragedy of this century and a disgraceful humanitarian calamity. Most of the Syrian refugees, he said, have fled to Turkey, Iraq, Jordan and Lebanon. He also said a total of 6 million have been displaced by the war. And it's a friendship visit, not a diplomatic one. That's what former National Basketball Association player Dennis Rodman is calling his latest visit to North Korea. Rodman will meet again with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. At a stopover in China, Rodman said he'll try to bridge the gap between Americans and North Korea by spending time with the Korean leader, but he added he's not a diplomat. Kim and his wife also played host to Rodman last February. That's your political news roundup for Tuesday, September 3rd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.